The first online Bible software I want to cover is Blue Letter Bible. It's free and it has minimal ads, which are chosen by them. This software has 21 Bibles and quite a few other books and resources. Once you select a verse, you will be in the main screen. I'll go over some of the more useful menu buttons. You can click on the Quick Nav button or the down arrows to choose a book and chapter instead of typing it in. If you want to copy multiple verses, you have to check the double squares next to each verse and click Copy. If you click Copy Options, you can change the format it will be copied in. You can choose Paragraph View if you want a better reading view, but it only works on some Bibles. You can show or hide the Strong's numbers for certain Bibles with the Strong's button. Some Bibles have red letters for the words of Jesus, which can be turned on or off. You can listen to an audio Bible, which will start reading from chapter the chapter three. you are currently on, but it won't turn to the next chapter, so you'll have to do that manually. If you click the Big Bible Version button, you can change Bibles while staying on your current chapter. If you want to remember your current settings, you can create an account with an email and password. There are several ways to view and compare Bibles on this software. In the paragraph or verse view, you have access to some tools, which show more information about your current verse. If you are in the paragraph view, you have to hover your mouse over the verse to see the tool's options. Some of the tools worth using are the interlinear, which has multiple views. The forward and forward inline views keep the Greek or Hebrew word order while the reverse and reverse inline view keep the English Bible's word order. In Greek, the word doesn't matter as much because the endings of the words often show how they relate to the words around them. I prefer the inline option because you can customize what information is shown. The Bibles tab is the only way to compare multiple Bible versions to each other. You can rearrange the Bibles by clicking and dragging them. The cross-reference tab shows all the scripture verses related to your current verse. The commentaries and dictionaries tabs don't have much to offer in my opinion. The miscellaneous tab sometimes has maps or timelines relating to the current verse. The other way to view the Bible is the interlinear view, which is located in the study tab under inline interlinear. It can also be opened from the main Bible view under Tools, Interlinear, Inline, and Full Page. There are only a handful of different English, Greek, and Hebrew combinations to choose from in the interlinear. Again, you can choose either Greek, Hebrew, or English word order, and you can choose what type of information you want to see in the interlinear. If you click the Bible button, it will take you back to the main Bible view. One of the features I really like is the ability to click on morphology and see a brief explanation of what it means. All the inline Bibles show morphology. It can also be seen in the Greek and Hebrew Bibles by clicking on a word. You can search for an English, Greek, or Hebrew word or phrase in all Bibles by typing it into the main search bar. The results for each Bible will be shown on the right in the yellow section. You can limit your search to Old or New Testament or a book of the Bible by clicking the Advanced Options button above the main search bar. Blue Letter Bible comes with a handful of Greek and Hebrew lexicons, which can be searched by clicking on a Strong's number and scrolling down till you see the lexicon sections. You can see all the ways a Greek or Hebrew word is translated into English by clicking on the Strong's number and scrolling down to the KJV translation count section. You can also view all the Greek and Hebrew words used to translate an English word by going to the lexicon section located in the study tools and typing in the English word you want to know about. There are maps in the study tab. They are just pictures and can't be searched, but the miscellaneous tab under tools will sometimes link maps to the verse you are on. 
There are also timelines, which are also located in the Study tab, and these two are sometimes linked to your current verse in the Miscellaneous tab in the Tools menu. There are some beginner courses on the Greek and Hebrew language, which are located in the Study tab under Grammars. There are no note-taking abilities in the desktop version of Blue Letter Bible, although they do have a sister site, which is specifically designed for note-taking. It is located in the Apps and Tools under Scripture Mark. You can also take notes in the Phone App version of Blue Letter Bible. Some of the other noteworthy features are the ability to look up multiple verses at one time, as long as they are separated by semicolons. There is a feature that pronounces most Greek or Hebrew words if you click on the Strong's number and click on the Volume button on the Pronunciation tab. There is a downloadable version of the software for your computer under the Apps and Tools called BLBCD. It doesn't have all the features that the online version has. There is a Gospel Harmony tool that lets you see where multiple Gospels talk about the same story. This can be found in the Study tab under Harmony of the Gospels. There is also a Bible Reading Plan located in the Devotionals tab under Daily Bible Reading Program.